morning from Los Angeles. Vintage Dodgers crew neck. Happy birthday to me. This is so fun. How is this real life? This is my last day of being 27. This is absolutely stunning. Sparkly bronze on the lid. Well, 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 welcome back to The Megan Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here in beautiful Los Angeles, California on my birthday trip, visiting my friend Megan for double the Megans, double the fun, double feature of The Megan Show right now. And this is my vlog for my trip. The Megan Show. Starting things off, I traveled about 2,400 miles from West Virginia to Los Angeles. The flights weren't too bad. Got to watch a couple movies on the longer flight, so that was pretty nice. Bit of a chaotic airport selfie, but I got to her apartment that evening and just chilled out. I was too tired to really do anything else. Woke up super early, still on Eastern time, and I had a big day planned ahead because I was in the audience for The Price is Right. I know, it was absolutely insane. I got there early to make sure I got in line on time. I was the 67th contestant out of about 170. It was such a unique experience. We got to be one-on-one -on -one with Drew Carey and George Gray and the models. I did not get picked to come on down, but I had an absolute blast. Can't wait to watch the episode when it comes out. The tickets were completely free. I signed up for them before I went on the trip, and this was an awesome experience. I'm so glad I did it. By the time I got back to the apartment, Megan had cooked this delicious dinner, and then she absolutely schooled me at Mario Party. I did my best with Yoshi, but she is just way better. <laughs> then I woke up to another beautiful sunrise, and then we toured an apartment. We looked at this apartment in Sherman Oaks, and it was beautiful. It had great amenities, and here's my friend Megan here. Her gorgeous long hair, she's such a sweet gal. We had such a fun time. So then we went to brunch, and I'll kick it over to my intro about that. Earlier, we went out to brunch at this awesome place. We had like a sample of so many different things, a whole half of a cantaloupe, a delicious cinnamon roll, delectable lemon muffin, and now we are about to head out and I'm gonna do some shopping here later and hopefully find a really good TJ Maxx or Marshalls and we'll see where the day takes us. It is an absolutely stunning day out here. It is about 60 degrees. It is just beautiful weather. Not a cloud in the sky. I love these mountains. They're so much taller than the mountains I have at home. And the palm trees, it's just so beautiful. It was really windy this morning and chilly, but it's so interesting the variety of weather you can get in one day out here. I have come to a beautiful shopping center. Absolutely massive Target. Huge Marshalls. I think there's a TK Maxx attached. Let's freaking go. What's up next? Nordstrom Rack. I tried on this red t-shirt. I like the design, but not quite well enough to buy it, so I passed on it. I did love this blue crop sweatshirt. It was a super, super soft material. I love the color and the way it fit. Okay, I left Burbank, and now I'm here in Glendale because I'm looking for the Museum of Neon Art. Hotel. That is too cute. I could 
not love this more. That museum was so adorable. I loved it so much. I bought a couple of postcards and stickers. And so now I'm gonna just keep walking around and shopping and seeing what else I can find. this little pack of fine liner markers for actually less than two dollars because they had a 30% off sale even the sale stuff so I'm pretty sure I got these for like one dollar and some change cute bright colors then these are just black markers but I like the nude color of the outside and they were so cheap and it's just I wanted them and here's the star of the show this really pretty reflective pink notebook and it was less than five dollars I'm like you cannot beat that Really cute bag too, I'm a sucker for bags. How cute is that? And then I got some little pretzel bites. Me from the future, I'm on the way home and Auntie Anne's is way better. Just sitting down for a little bit before I keep on keeping on. I had such a fun day bebopping around Los Angeles. The sign museum was absolutely awesome. It was so fun to read the descriptions of all those neon art signs that was so cool. All the history involved, those are just really impressive. And shopping around, I bought that blue um, cropped sweatshirt from Nordstrom Rack that was super, super soft. Can't wait to wear that. And I bought those couple things from Typo, the notebook and the pens. I'm excited about that. Got those for an absolute steal. Got some cute souvenirs from the Neon uh, Sign Museum. And this evening, I went over to my friend's restaurant job and ate a brisket quesadilla. It was so delicious, I loved it. So crispy, the tortilla, oh my gosh, it was delicious. And so now I'm just waiting for her to finish up her shift and we're gonna head on home and tomorrow's my birthday. Oh my gosh, this is my last day of being 27. Let's not think about that too hard. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning and happy birthday to me. My sweet friend brought up our lemon muffin from yesterday with a candle on it and I made a wish. So here's to hoping. So I'm just about to start getting ready for today. You can watch my other video, I don't know if it's up yet, of what I brought in my makeup bag. Hair is finished. I, it only looks this voluminous about right after I finish, so I wanted to capture it on camera. It does look nice. Um, I've had this, these Numi wands since like 2015 as you can tell how dirty they are. This was like, it came in like a set of five and it was like all the rage on YouTube. So I got it for Christmas like almost 10 years ago, which is absolutely insane. But here's the hair and I'm gonna do my makeup and be right back. Hello, I hope you can hear me. I just finished getting ready. I stepped out on their loft balcony to show my outfit. So here we are. Put a little black on my hair. It's like supposed, well, you probably can not hear me when I'm turned around. But the black bow, like, it's a little subtle and blending in, but I thought it would, would be cute. So the pants are from American Eagle. I got these online a couple months ago. I think they were on sale, and they're wide at the bottom, which is cute. I'm going to wear my black docks with this outfit. The shirt is from Target, I think, and yes. So excited we are going to a play that she is in in santa monica and then we're going to bebop around santa monica maybe do a little bit of shopping and then we have something else fun planned for this afternoon you just have to wait and see for that all right oh let me show you my makeup too so i use that ColourPop um 1111 palette again I used this like sparkly bronze on the lid that you can see and oh my gosh, it's like pressed glitter almost. Like it is quite sparkly. And then of course I just used some browns for the outer corner and the transition and underneath the lash line. I've got these cute earrings. Gosh, where did I get these? Maybe Francesca's I think. 
Maybe let me try to show the hair from close up. All my face makeup is the same from the Get Ready With Me video, all the same products. And yeah, so, all right. Let's see where the day takes us. It is a beautiful day out here. Love things like this. Okay, I'm sorry, what? How is this real life? How can I just walk up to a beach from a street and these gigantic mountains on this beautiful sunny day in January? What? This is so beautiful. There's a Santa Monica Pier over there. I went there on my first trip out here, rode that Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. So fun, very, very cool experience. Look how big the beach looks, like how much sand. It seems like intense. It is so amazing. I'm literally looking at the ocean on my birthday. That has never happened before. Looking at the Pacific Ocean in January. I'm so, so lucky I get to be here right now. Look at the boats out there super far. sailboat out there like I'm sorry is that is that a painting sorry is that just a freaking painting absolutely stunning around before heading back over to the theater. So Megan is a working actor at the Santa Monica Playhouse, which has a lot of interesting history. Evelyn Rudy, who runs it, was a child actor of the 1950s and 60s. She's one of the youngest people to have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She acts alongside of Megan and the other actors who put on these performances for kids for birthday parties. And on this day, they were performing Ever After Take Two. And it was so fun to watch Megan act. I used to watch her in high school and be so impressed with her. And now that we're adults, I get to see her skills and talent on a bigger stage. And I'm so proud and happy for her. My friend just dropped me off. She's gonna find a place to park, but it is sunset and the sun is rapidly going away. So she let me get out take some video. Look how beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. I'm so out of breath from walking up the hill. Wow. Oh, the Hollywood sign, how fun. That's awesome. I haven't seen it this trip yet. Here is the observatory itself. Might try to go inside in a minute. The time's winding down, but it's so beautiful. It's, it's like looking red now in the sky. one small part of it. There is so much information everywhere. It is so cool. I made it to 
to the Rose Bowl for the big flea market and it looks awesome. It's so beautiful out here. Let me show you what it looks like. I walked all the way around the stadium once and then I started to do those side areas that had lots more vendors. So I did all of that and now I'm going around again trying to remember some of the booths I wanted to stop at a second time. So I still have some time before I need to head back. So I'm gonna walk around again and see what else I can find. All right, we made it. Four hours later, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to my friend's apartment. But this was awesome. I'm so, so glad I came. I walked around that stadium multiple times, went to all the side vendors multiple times. Like, I think I did a rather thorough search around. I got several goodies. I'll uh, do a haul once I get back to the apartment. And this was an awesome day. So the first thing is honestly my favorite thing I got. I got myself a vintage Dodgers crew neck. Like, oh my gosh, how cute is that? You can tell I love the color blue and with the red and the white and the LA, oh my god, I thought that was too cute. It literally says, where does it say? Yeah, down at the bottom, it literally says 1991 on it. So I thought that was awesome. I thought that was a good hiccup. It was only $35. I thought that was relatively reasonable. And I tried it on there over top of my shirt and it fit. And so I was super pumped about that. Then I got a bunch of stickers, several floral ones, roses for the Rose Bowl. So I thought those were cute and those were super cheap. And I got my friend this wrestling shirt because he loves wrestling. Stone cold, telling somebody off. <laughs> I thought he would like that. There was an earring booth that had like this huge table of earrings and I got several of my friends uh, some little funky fun earring. I got these little hanging gummy bear earrings for my friend Megan who not the Megan here but my other friend Megan who is my friend from work which is so funny there's so many Megans so I thought she would like those. I got these for my friend Jordan. She loves good old Mickey Mouse Disney girl and then I got these for my friend Megan here um, and they are similar to those other ones, but I thought that the gummy bears would be cute. So I got those for her. Got these for myself. I thought those were pretty cute. Then I got my sister this sweatshirt. It said Eliana. I thought that was really pretty in like an emerald green with little orange flowers on it. I thought she would like that. Have these just sitting out that are like little postcards and you know I love a postcard so I got two of them actually and might give one to Megan see if she wants one but I love a postcard and then this was the map that or is it a map let's see oh oh shoot not what I thought it was but that's kind of cool to have too so I guess I have two of those so yeah but super fun day I'm so glad I went and it was such an experience. I mean, it was very lively. There were so many people there. Um, the weather was wonderful. Like it's, it's like the, the hottest part of the day right now. It's about 115 and it, my watch says it's about 61. It definitely feels warm. I'll probably, well, I don't know. I was gonna say I'll change out of this for later, but it's just gonna get cooler obviously as the night goes on. This is actually the top I bought at Nordstrom Rack the other day and I thought it went well with the brown pants that I wore um, yesterday with a different shirt. So I thought the blue and brown would look good today. So yeah, I'm having a wonderful morning. This is my last full day. I'm really sad about that, but I've had an absolutely wonderful trip. So, so grateful to be here. I dropped my friend off at her job a little bit ago. So I'm just be around Sherman Oaks and I'm inside this furniture store because it looked pretty and I just wanted to walk in. So I'm just gonna be bopping around some shops. There's an antique mall that I'm gonna go in and see.
another mall to walk around in for about a half hour before it closes. And then honestly, I'm probably just gonna sit in the car <laughs> and just like chill out for a while because I am sleepy eepy. I am at a place called The Commons, which looks like a big shopping area. I was sitting in the car after the last area I was at and I just didn't want to waste time essentially and just sit in the car and miss out. So I'm gonna walk around for a little bit more. Well, as much as I don't want to admit it, We've reached the end of the night on my very last night of this trip here in Los Angeles. I'm so sad to wrap up this trip, but I'm so grateful that I even got to come on it. I'm so thankful to my friend Megan and her roommates for letting me stay at their apartment. I'm so appreciative of them. This was an absolutely awesome trip. We packed so much stuff in just a few days. I'm so grateful. It was so memorable. And I thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, please comment the word, hmm, let me think. Comment the word driving, because I did a fair amount of driving here in Los Angeles on those big freeways, and I'm pretty proud of myself for how I handled it. It was scary at times, but it was kind of okay at other times too. It was interesting. But anyway, thank you so, so much for watching The Megan Show, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.